the Royal Commission into the Black Saturday bushfires are poised to recommend a sweeping overhaul of Victoria's fire safety systems. The ABC has obtained a copy of the recommendations to be put to the Commission for its interim report in August. They argue that the stay or go policy should be drastically revised to include selective evacuations and the reinstatement of community fire refuges. Jane Cowan has this exclusive report. It's a dramatic response to a devastating catastrophe. Draft documents obtained by the ABC suggest Council assisting the Commission will recommend the contentious stay or go policy be comprehensively reworked, making room for selective voluntary evacuations and the reinstatement of community fire refuges. Also favoured by the Commission's legal team, the use of the alert tone played in Northern Australia to warn of cyclones and sirens for towns that want them. The recommendations are on the right track, but the government should be compelled to implement the recommendations. The council assisting the commission has found the fire agencies were ill-prepared for Black Saturday. The CFA boss, Russell Rees, is singled out for criticism. Council assisting Jack Rush QC describes his role as divorced from fundamental aspects of the responsibilities he had as chief officer, including the provision of public warnings and the protection of life. Anyone involved in emergency services who is not absolutely up to the task is a dangerous person and there's no place for them in public administration. The findings assert Mr Rees should have made himself aware of predictions forecasting the path of the fires. Whatever changes are made, as it stands now, the same management team that presided over the system which failed to cope on Black Saturday will be required to implement the new regime. Some say that's a problem. We still have people running these organisations who are predominantly devoted to a firefighting technology that is no longer in vogue, let alone being attuned to the needs of behavioural management and leadership. The CFA says it has full confidence in the fire chief and expects him to be at the helm again this summer. Jane Cowan, ABC News, Melbourne.